through the circuit check that you're required to do before you start the machine up in the morning. And depending upon the questions I ask you, there could be anywhere from 36 to 40 questions. First thing we want to do is turn on the battery. It's in the locked position now, because you can get a padlock on there. And that's the battery turned on. I want you to turn the battery on. While we're here, to we'll unlock these doors, we'll need to get in here for a circle check. shutdowns. I'm going to check this one here, but they're all four are checked the same way. You turn my key to the on position, all right? You know your fuels, your key switch is on, and you get a reading on your fuel gauge. So my, I check my fuel gauge right here. I've got enough fuel now to check my shutdown. When I activate this shutdown here, that triangle should come on, which it did. All right? It's a little bright out today, so you might not see it, but that'll light up. That means that that one's working to reset this. There's an arrow on there. Make sure you turn the button in the direction of the arrow, and that'll reset it. Do that for all four shutdowns. Check my four shutdowns. Check my fuel level. Shut the key off. I'm going to go back and lock up the machine. Remember, it's locked out when the kit, when the padlock can go through those two holes. So that's locked out. That's my circle check. We're checking the tension on the track on this side here, and it appears to be the correct amount of tension. While I'm here, I'm looking on the ground for any oil. Anything that doesn't look quite right, any cracks on the boom assembly, any bolts that might be loose. If there any dirt is moved around the pin, you can tell it's loose. You know, everything looks good here. I'm checking to make sure that all my four drilling controls are off. Let's count them. Air's off is number one. That's the air on, that's the air off. Air's off, my feet is off. My rotation is off. And my hammer is off. Those are the four drilling controls. They're off. Now there's seven grease fittings that you have to get twice a day. All right. The first one is here. There's one here. If you want to move around the other side there, we can take a look at the other ones. There's one there. One here. One right. There. It's on the end of my finger, right there. Those three. Four. Five. Six, seven. And the last one is on the tower. We'll have to get that when the mask when we tip the tower over. I got it. And the drifter. Drifter is low enough, you'll be checking the, for loose bolts on the drifter. Okay? Look at my suction boot, suction hoses, 
my core separator. I'm going to make this opportunity to check the tension on this track. And I may ask you to identify the grease fittings on any of these other cylinders. So for example, the boom swing cylinder. There's a grease fitting here. There's a grease fitting. One there, one there. One here, and one there. So there's a total of four grease fittings just for the boom swing cylinder. Now I want to check my oil in my receiver, my rock drill oil. When I'm climbing up the side of the machine, I have three points of contact. This can only be checked when the machine's not running. Because it's under pressure. Don't pull it all the way out. There's the high mark. There's the low mark. So we're just a couple inches down from the high mark. Don't overfill it. And that takes rock drill oil for that. At the end of the day, when we go to fuel, this is where the fuel goes in here. I'm going to check my engine oil. Dipsticks here. One second. Dipstick's there, check my oil level. If it needs oil, this is where we have to put the oil in, here. I'm gonna check the tension on my belts. All right, moderate pressure, flex about half the thickness of the belt, that's fine. I'm gonna check in the bottom of the fuel filter, the primary fuel filter. This is the primary. I'm just going to turn it counterclockwise a little bit. Good clean fuel coming out. We're good to go. Make sure you turn that the right way. It's only plastic. I don't want to break it off. Now I'm going to check the rat. As I can see the fluid, I'm good to go. I'm going to continue around. There's one of my shutdowns back here. I'm going to check the dust filters. As long as they look like this, they're good, but if they're all caked up, there's something wrong with the dust collector. That's something that has to be investigated. So that looks good. I'll check the condition of the vacuolator valve here, make sure there's no rips or tears in it. Now, we'll check the compressor oil level here, maximum, minimum. Remember, sometimes if the machine's not setting level, it might be, you know, beyond the minimum or beyond the maximum. Just got to make sure this tank is sitting level. But that looks okay. I want to make sure that my clutch is disengaged. That's disengaged there. That's engaged up there. I want it disengaged to start. I'm looking at the components in here. I've got my oil cooler. I've got my compressor. I've got three of my four hydraulic pumps here. Everything looks dry. Nothing out of place. In this department, I'm going to check my hydraulic oil level. Remember, it depends on the on the position of the cylinders as to where that level should be. 
that looks okay within that spec right now. That's my circle check complete, and now I'm going to start it up.